Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Way back in 2015, the third video I ever did on Photoshop was a demonstration on how to enhance an existing sky using Photoshop. And very recently, the YouTube channel Pix Imperfect did a YouTube short demonstrating a similar technique, and it reminded me of that video I did in 2015. And by the way, I make no claims that I invented this technique. I learned it from someone else, I think, at a Photoshop conference. And it's something that many of us have done in Photoshop over the years. But his video on Pix Imperfect reminded me about my video. And it got me thinking that it's a lot easier to do in today's Photoshop than it was in CS6 that I was using in 2015. So I thought I'd do this updated video where I demonstrate this technique on how to enhance an existing sky. And where this technique works great is when you have a sky like this. You have some clouds in the sky, but there's really no definition there. There's no drama. So we want to enhance the existing clouds. So here's how you do it. First, duplicate the background layer. Hit Command or Control J. So we have the duplicated layer. Now get a selection of the sky. And this is where it's a lot easier in today's Photoshop than it was in 2015 using CS6. To get that selection today, all you need to do is go up to Select and down to Select Sky. And you'll see in a second or two, there's marching ants. We have our sky selected. Now what you need to do is change this front swatch over here to a color blue. So what you want to do is get your brush tool, hit the B key to get your brush tool. And what you can do if you have a good blue in the scene is you can hold in the alter option key and you'll get an eyedropper and you could click on something blue. Now I made my image smaller doing that, but what you could do Let's say there's like a blue kayak here and I could click on that. And unfortunately, that blue is probably a little too dark. And as I'm looking at the blue, it's the kayaks mainly. And there's some boat covers back here that are blue. They're all a little bit too dark. This blue over here is a little bit too cyan. So there really isn't a good blue to sample. So what you need to do is then just click on the swatch and type in the hex or just drag it around to a color blue. That is a medium blue. If it's too light, it won't work. If it's too dark, it won't look realistic. Uh, so I'm going to put in kind of a medium blue, which uh, the hex for that is 3388FF. All right, so that's kind of a medium blue right there. And maybe I'll just even make it a little lighter. I'll pull this down a little bit. Okay, something about like that. And this is something that you'll probably have to experiment with. The first time you do it, it may not look right. You're going to have to go to the history tab up here and go back a few steps and then try it again with a lighter blue or a darker blue to get it so it looks right. So we're going to go with that. We'll click OK. And we still have our selection around the sky. We have a brush. The front swatch is that color blue I just picked out. What we're going to do is get a really a very large brush. I'll hit the right bracket key and then just come in and paint that entire sky that blue. All right. Okay, now we have that sky, that color blue. We'll now get move tool just because it's less obnoxious than that brush. Then what we do, we'll go over here to that layer that we just painted the blue on. You could get rid of the marching ants if you like. Hit Command or Control D to deselect. Then double click to the right of where it says layer one and you'll get this layer style dialog box. Then what you want to do is at the very bottom, you have these sliders and the bottom one is called underlying layer. What you need to do is go to the far right and just move this arrow, this kind of like triangle thing to the left. Move it very slowly and you'll see how I'm starting to bleed through up here at the top. Just when you start to see that, back it off until that just barely disappears. Then what you need to do is hold in your Alt or Option key. And again, it's Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac. And when you do that, you'll be able to separate this slider into two individual sliders. Then once you have it separated, you could let go of the Alt Option key, grab the little left-hand slider, and start moving it to left. And you'll see that you'll start to bring out that sky like that. And you can just move it to where you like. Uh, move this around here. And you see, that's uh, why I mentioned it's important that you get the perfect shade of blue because if it was too dark, it probably wouldn't look realistic over here. And if it's too light, you won't get that much definition. It won't look that good. And what you could do is try moving the other one 
a little bit, maybe like that. You could even try moving the left. It probably won't do much, but you could try it. The one above won't do anything. So you could try if you want, but that's pretty much that. And we'll click OK. Let's accept that. And there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So that's how you enhance an existing sky in Photoshop by painting on the sky. It's as simple as that. So, um, I don't know, if you're you know, don't like replacing skies, or maybe you just don't want to because it's, you know, you don't own any skies or something like that. You could usually enhance the existing sky using this technique. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>